Yeah. Thank you, councillors, members of senior staff, I declare open this extraordinary meeting of Tamora Shire Council. And thank you uh, for being here and noting that we do have uh, Councillor McLaren and Councillor Bushell that are uh, zooming in on this extraordinary meeting. Uh, so uh, we uh, bid all a welcome and uh, I do advise the meeting that uh, it is being recorded and will be placed on Council's webpage for public information and all present today are reminded that while speaking that we do agree that our views and comments are being recorded and published and we are also reminded that if or when that we are speaking that we are of course to be respectful of others and use our appropriate language as we do here at Tamora Shire and Council accepts no liability for any defamatory or offensive uh, remarks or gestures during this Council meeting. Now uh, we do not have any apologies Mr General Manager. Uh, no, Smith. Thank you. Uh, there's uh, no any, uh, sorry, any declaration of any interest at this point? No, thank you. Uh, we don't have any uh, minutes to confirm mayoral minutes, so let's go directly to the business at hand. And you see there is one item that uh, for this extraordinary meeting to be considered. To staff for this. All oh, right. So can we have a motion, please, Councillor, before we uh, consider the recommendation on page six that we have staff reports? Councillor Reinhold, Councillor Oliver, thank you. Move and second. And all those of that opinion, please say aye. The contrary, no. Clear the motion. Carried. Thank you very much. Uh, so there is that one item uh, numbered 6.1. Uh, on page six, which is entitled the draft community strategic plan. And uh, I go to the general manager. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Uh, councillors, uh, what you have in front of you is the uh, draft community strategic plan as it sits at the moment. Um, the, uh, before we start, I, I should uh, mention that Karen Legg, who is a consultant, um, was will be unlikely to, to join us. Um, the reason being is that she, uh, we actually put the meeting back to 5.30 because it was, she was going to be on a flight arriving at 4.30 uh, in Sydney. Uh, didn't ha uh, We thought we'd give plenty of time for her to get there, but her flight was cancelled uh, from Ballina. So she had to take an earlier flight to Dubbo and then fly from Dubbo back to Sydney. And um, she rang me only about 20 minutes ago and said she hasn't left Dubbo yet. So uh, it's a, um, unfortunately, uh, that's what's happened. Um, so what, what we require today is, uh, or this is part of the process, I suppose. What you have in front of you is the draft community strategic plan uh, based on um, the number of uh, um, interactions that she's had with the Tamora community, which are out, uh, Tamora Shire community, which is outlined on page seven. Uh, quite a lot of uh, groups there, but there's also, because of uh, COVID, our uh, community engagement strategy was basically turned on its ear uh, because of the fact that uh, very f at the time when she was supposed to be doing uh, community meetings, uh, everyone was locked down. So um, it was a bit of a, a mishmash of um, um, strategies or uh, engagements uh, which involved you know, everything from walking down the street to meeting with some groups, or meeting remotely with other groups uh, and so on. Um, this is uh, probably, uh, we should look at it as very much as the first uh, shot across the bow and that's why it's going with the the resolution is to put it out, or a recommended resolution is to put it out for public submission. People can still have input into the plan up until the end of the submission period for to bring back to council at the next um, at the meeting on the 23rd. There will be um, if council uh, agrees to put it out on public comment, which I hope you do because we're running out of time otherwise. Um, there will be uh, a website and uh, a lot of, uh, it's in the paper, uh, it'll also go to um, uh, social media where people will be able to email or write to council uh, and that will all be taken into account as part of the plan. So um, 
so it's not the end of the process, uh, but it's it's certainly at the pointy end of the process. So, um, so we uh, we encourage people. Um, if council resolved today to put this out on public uh, exhibition, uh, to have their say still. And uh, in fact, have your say at tomorrow.newsouthwales.gov.au is, is the email uh, that you can use, but there will be other mechanisms as well. Uh, so uh, with that introduction, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, I'll sort of uh, leave the council to discuss. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. General Manager. Uh, I, I didn't quite catch earlier what you said in terms of um, if, if Council do uh, resolve to adopt the recommendation that's uh, for us to consider uh, that it be placed on public exhibition for 28 days. Uh, the, 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 of course, social media is part of getting that message out there and uh, websites and so on, but the, the local paper, did you mention that as well? Oh, yes, and that in the local paper. Yeah, okay, thank you. So people that um, wish to put in a, an email or a letter or something may do so. Uh, what will happen is uh, if um, someone wishes to make a submission in writing uh, or send a, uh, you know, a fax or whatever else to uh, council, uh, we will scan that and send that through the consultant uh, for consideration in the plan. Thank you. Well, councillors, you have the draft plan. Just remember that uh, this is the, uh, well, a step, but an important step to have the plan put out uh, for public comment. Uh, so, of course, when, if that does uh, occur, then council will, of course, consider that document plus, uh, or the final document, plus any uh, other uh, additions and so on that time. So. Uh, so it's over to you, this is where I suppose that I, I didn't really see this meeting as being the one to tease out uh, things in particular, but that was just my thoughts, the General Manager. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not for the consideration of the plan as such, uh, mm -hmm. however, you know, if you wish to discuss any issues in relation to the plan, particularly around the metrics, uh, whether they're, they're reasonable, um, uh, you know, because ultimately mm -hmm. council is going to be marked on these metrics, you know, if, uh, I know there's a few there like on uh, carbon emissions and, and stuff like that, you know, that's, uh, um, we don't have to meet the plan, uh, but obviously we've got to respond as to uh, what we've done to to move towards meeting those plans. So, yeah, things like that. It's um, it's not uh, you know it's it's not our plan. So we 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 can't really change much of the the strategies involved or the requ requests of the community. But we can certainly look and see whether the the metrics are reasonable. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, councillors, there is a. Recommendation there on page six for you to consider. Uh, I'll go to Councillor Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just <coughs> a question to the General Manager. This would last this term of council, then there'll be another community strategic plan, or how long is this one? What's the lifetime of this plan? Thank you. Uh, the General Manager. Uh, yes, the, the plan is to be uh, reconsidered uh, in each term of council. This term is a little bit unusual. It normally would be a four-year period uh, where you have to revisit the community strategic plan. It doesn't mean to say you have to do a rewrite, uh, but we hadn't done a plan for quite a while. It may be in three years' time you decide to, to go down the track again. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is just for, for this period of council. It's to look a lot longer than that, but the the uh, what what comes out of this is we once it's adopted by council or accepted by council we have to develop a um, um, uh, the plans our planning um, the delivery plan and also the operational plan to to address the issues raised by the community now there may be stuff in there that the com t council totally disagrees with uh, and if that's the case uh, you note that. Uh, and and say you know council's not intending to address those issues at all, uh, and um, yeah, you know, when it, when it's reported to the community annually, that's what we will be saying. Thank you, further, councillor Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, it <coughs> just seems to me that some of the comments in here are from the younger 
uh, demographic of people in the community, and I suppose they're the ones who are going to inherit the, the Shire and the world, so to speak. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the next lot come up with as the way it's going. You know, there's, um, there's a lot of current issues in there that are affecting well, climate change and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it's just, anyway, interesting. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Oliver. Do you want to say something? General Manager? Um, a good example uh, would be that one of the strategies uh, that has been raised by a number, obviously various groups, uh, is the provision of um, uh, public transport for shopping purposes and things to neighbouring communities. Mm -hmm. Now that has been something that uh, Council has been uh, against in the past and it may well be something that Council is against in the future. Uh, but it is, a, it is, some people in our community want that, uh, but we've got to respond and, and say, you know, yes, we agree with it, or no, we don't agree with it, and these are the actions we are or aren't taking. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Judd, you were read, and yeah. now, uh, Councillor Judd. <coughs> Thank you, Mr Mayor. The, um, first, I must commend uh, our consultant, Carol Legg, for uh, the consultations he did in our community. I did arrange a number of meetings at Area Park and she did have a very good rapport with the people out there. But uh, in saying that, I'm very disappointed with the resultant report. Mm. First of all, I'll go, I think it's very, very ordinary in a lot of ways. Mm. First of all, we'll go to page 10, 14 and 15. This idea of putting all these statements and headings in a mishmash of large and small things, mm. I think it's, I don't like it at all. Mm. And if I was someone who brought up something that's in very, very, very small letters, mm. I'd be disappointed. And uh, a lot of the just headings or statements, there's no sort of uh, strategies to do things. And even uh, when we get on to the, the basic stuff, you know, there's too many sort of motherhood statements where that's and <clears throat> when you compare our strategic plan to what other councils are doing, I think we can do better. And uh, I had, <clears throat> going back to my uni course, I did IP and R on that. And one of the exercises was comparing community strategic plans. And we had to get up, spruik about your own plan and compare it with other plans. And that opened my eyes to what other councils were doing. Now, I did bring in on a USB stick tonight, you know, uh, for example, Campbelltown's got a very good one, and then I think even Coolman's got a very good one that's, that's better than this. And I'd just like to see us get a better feel for it. Mm. If I was a community member that come in and saw this document, I'd open it up and say, oh, looks too hard to me. You know, it just doesn't sort of grab you at all. So mm. that's my feeling about it, and I'd like to see a bit more work done on it. Thank you very much. Councillor Judd for those uh, very frank remarks and uh, I have to say that personally uh, as a councillor I, I can't disagree with anything that you have said uh, in relation to that. Uh, I, I'm pleased to hear that you know, the consultation area park has uh, went very well. I mean I personally uh, I'm uh, disappointed that there's uh, several groups uh, that I suggested that uh, Mrs Legg uh, meet. Uh, that didn't happen. I do know that everyone's entitled, you know, they're entitled to put in their own submission. There's only a certain amount of time, so I, I am aware of that as well. Uh, but I see some glaring omissions um, in relation to to that. But I, I appreciate uh, your comments and uh, I'm sure Council does too. Thanks, Councillor Judd. Uh, any other comments at this stage? Remember, we'll be teasing all this out in more detail at the appropriate time. The General Manager. Uh, could I also uh, mention that uh, the consultant has indicated uh, that she's more than willing to talk to anyone who wishes wishes to ring her and uh, and talk about it. Uh, and I, I would, if if you do have some issues with it, I would encourage you to um, to give a ring. I've put her all her details on the front of the on the front sheet. Uh, so uh, please feel free to ring her. Thank you. I think, uh, Councillor Judge, you're particularly correct in my view 
in relation to the uh, the ones that are in big print and then the ones in medium size and the ones in minute. Uh, I, I find uh, I just find that um, uh, puzzling. And as you said, if I was a citizen that had written that, I would have thought, well, that obviously doesn't mean as much. Um, however, hopefully uh, there may be some tweaking in how this is presented. General Manager. Just to say that um, you know that is only a graphic. I mean, it's not it's not meant to represent you know importance. It's not like a like a map where the regional centres get bigger print and the smaller centres get smaller print and so on. The important issue is is what's in the in the strategies and and the issues raised. Not not so much these um, graphical things that. On the on the front of each section. I suppose there's some. Can, it's a matter of interpretation, uh, Mr. General Manager. But thank you for for clarifying. Well, uh, Councillor Judd, just a question, on General Manager. <coughs> the notes that uh, Karen Meg took, and I know she gave me a copy of the notes she took for the, you know, the meeting the young people of Barry Park, which was probably an, like an A4 page of points. And I presume she's taken similar notes. And meeting other groups. Well, those you now there's very good ideas and come come out of that. What I could see, right? Will that be coming forward to council to for information as well, or not? The general manager. Uh, it's a question you'd have to ask her, Councillor Judd. I I haven't seen any of those um, uh, documents, so I'm not sure. Thank you. Well, <laughs> uh, the general manager. It, just to say that um, there's a reason why we don't get involved in community strategic plan is that we we don't want to be seen to be dictating to the community what what they want and, and that's the exact reason why we get an external person to come in and do it uh, is because uh, otherwise our personal views um, would be seen to be being pushed rather than the uh, than the community's views and that's so you know, it, it, and that's the reason why we haven't seen that, and that's why we ask her to go to the community, get their views, and bring them back in a document. Mm. Thank you. Well, councillors, there's a recommendation there on page six for council to consider, and also keeping in mind uh, the opportunity. I did try to ring uh, Mrs. Legg the other day to express my. Uh, concerns with just in relation to um, uh, many of the groups that I suggested to reach out to uh, that weren't there, uh, but we haven't been able to catch each other to discuss that further. So, as you wish, councillors. Councillor Oliver. Hey, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd move that we place it on public display and see what the feedback is that we may or may not get. So. Thank you, Councillor Oliver. Seconded, Councillor Good. Thank you. Moved and seconded. Discussion. Councillor Judd. Could I just, I'm okay with the motion, but could I suggest that councils in the meantime, the next month, Go on the website and look up what other councils are doing and their community strategic plans, right? And just see what how some how good some of them are, right? And I think we could head towards that sort of quality, right? So that's Thank you, Councillor Judd. I'm sure councillors will be uh, mindful of those words. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, who, who, uh, Councillor Good second of that, yes. Thank you. And, and of course, in uh, further discussion, that uh, the general manager will be advertised extensively in the uh, paper and website and social media, etc. So people are aware. Because oh, I, I was amazed, and I really was, to hear um, uh, several comments uh, only in the last several days uh, that oh, they didn't realise, some citizens didn't realise there's a survey. but. Uh, I mean, that's just, uh, that was advertised from what I understand during all those everywhere. Anyway, it's, um, I suppose we've always got to look at how we can improve, but, you know, citizens have got a, an obligation to, to um, you know, to also be mindful. Uh, uh, 
Now, Councillor Bushell, further discussion on the motion. Councillor Bushell, do you wish to uh, speak in further discussion on the motion? Just tell us you have to unmute yourself. Oh, can you unmute yourself, please, oh. Councillor Bushell? If you wish to speak, that is. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can't. Okay. Uh, uh, Councillor Reinhold. Yes, on page nine, I think she's just talking about uh, some typos. If on page nine, it starts off. Uh, Tomorrow Shire is sits. It should be it sits. Oh yes, yes. Part. I'm sure. So there's um, just yeah a few typos. On page nine at the top. Page nine tomorrow, yeah. So, yes, and thank you for that, Councillor Bush and Councillor Reinhold, because, yeah, they're all important. If anyone sees anything else like that, we'd appreciate your advice uh, how we can improve that. I, I just, of course, had, you know, the tomorrow today and all this, well, we're tomorrow shire. Um, Mrs. Leg mentions tomorrow shire in some places, not in others. So, I think, you know, we're appropriate and what have you, we, we're consistent. That would be. That would be great, but it might just uh, graphically look good. So, if there's no further discussion on the motion, I encourage all councillors, all of us, to go to our networks and uh, ask them to comment, because I, I think there'd be some uh, very interesting comments um, uh, that we'd receive, both uh, in a positive sense and perhaps uh, not so. So, if there's no further discussion, I'll put the motion to you. All those of that opinion, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I'll declare the motion carried. And thank you very much. There being no further business, I declare this extraordinary meeting of Tomorrow Shire Council closed. And thank you very much.